This is how you unpackage the base of the, uh, the beds. First of all, remove the top of the tier of the cardboard. Pop this out of the way. <coughs> then we will roll this over. Something to bear in mind when we're taking this second tier of the cardboard off, the ottoman may tend to open itself. So, as we open lift this up, I will always be covering the ottoman itself, just with my hand here in case it springs open. Uh, for safety, once we're at this stage, we will open the ottoman itself, just so we don't risk damaging any other products in the bedroom. Uh, upon opening, opening, what you will see here is a package of the feet with accessories as well to fit. If you wanted to come round to the back of the base, you will find the mounting points to be threaded onto. You have them here, 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 and here. Once the feet are screwed on, um, we can stand this upright and then replicate that on the other side of the base. Now that the feet are outside of the packaging, you'll notice there are two different designs. Uh, the circular ones will be for the outside of the base, and then the other part will be for the inside. Basically screw these on like so until they are tight. So now that we have both bases with their feet on, We've now put them together and lined them up, ready to be connected. Um, if you refer back to the bag that you had the feet in, you will also find these con this contents as well. If you'd like to spread it out in your work area, you can take this step by step. So what you'll find with the first part of the connection needed uh, is the screw and the nut. Uh, just so you know, the first one isn't needed whatsoever and then we will take the first piece to connect. Coming down here, you'll find we've lined up the two holes mated here. Pop the screw through until it reaches the other side. It may also be worth pinching the frame together and then with the nut, simply screw on to the other side. Once the, the nut has bit, on the thread, we can wind it up and then use your tools to tighten. For this, you will need a 13mm socket or spanner and either a, a Phillips screwdriver or a drill in this case. So we simply pop the side in and do that pencil. There we go second part of the installation will be at the top of the base is just here. If we come back to our kit and what we have included, we will need this piece along with our two threaded bolts to match. Coming up here, we make sure the red piece goes in between the two bed frames whilst screwing one of them in on this side. and then doing the same on the other side. You will still need to pinch the frame together to make sure they line up. Once you have uh, both screws threaded in, you can then tighten them up using either a screwdriver or a drill itself. In this case, just tighten them up evenly. It'll be absolutely fine. The next thing we need are our two red caps that were given in the kit itself. This is to cover up the screw that we originally used to connect the base. So just going in like so there, and the same just on the other side as well. Okay. There we go. The next part of the installation um, is for the mattress supports. So these come as a pair, which will go on each side of the bases. 
roughly line it up about halfway through and they will sit just like so ready to be screwed in okay so what we do now is pop our base down as you see just here nice and carefully now we have a nice flat base for us to work on to push our self tapping screws through the frame okay so in the kit the final screws will be the self tappers themselves we'll just pop those there use one of them pop them in line into the middle a bit of force and then replicate this for each hole and the same on the other side now that the bases are connected together, one of the final steps is to place the headboard and connect it with the base itself. Um, it's very important that the bed moves as little as possible. So you want to get these two products as close as can be in the area that it's gonna be fitted in. With this, you'll see the male and female connectors that we have on the back of the base and on the headboard itself. We simply lift up and slot it in between slide down like so. What you will find here are two toggles that you simply have a pulling motion as well as twist to tighten. Once you feel the top tightening then start the next one until both screws are tight and the headboard is then secure. The final part of installing the bed is popping the mattress on top of the base. One key feature to be aware of is the mattress supports. Just make sure these are upright so the mattress can sit between them. Just like so.